Hello. 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 Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, hang on. Where's my thing oh. going? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, no, wait, wait, oh. wait. Oh. Do we have it? Oh. Do we have it? Do we? Yeah, it's doing a, it's doing a white hey. thing. What sort of thing? It, yay! Hey. We did it. We did it. <laughs> we Live it. on the internet. Uh, you know? Uh, hi, uh, Bodani in the chat, who... Clearly. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are here this evening live on Twitch playing Lost in the Wild, a D&D 5e Feywildy uh, bullshit adventure. Uh, and you are watching it on Gut Punch RP. I am your GM this evening, Kai, Kylo Creative on the internet. And let's just go around and introduce ourselves. We'll start up top with, uh, well, up top for me, Grayson. <laughs> Oh, hi, hello. <laughs> uh, I am Grayson. I guess I'm here tonight, kind of, sort of, playing Elio, who I keep forgetting is like a full-blown elf. And like right before this session, I was like, oh yeah, not a half elf, got it. Um, so that's what I'm doing tonight, is remembering what my character sheet looks like. <laughs> All right, we'll go around the Twitch screen and go to Nat. Hello! Hi! I'm Natalie! Uh, I'm Tonight I'm playing Cobalt, the tiefling wizard who may or may not be able to write. <laughs> we'll find out. Alright, down to the good doctor. Oh, shit, that's me. Hi! <laughs> I am Jess or Jessica. You can find me on the things and the stuff as Dr. Psych Owl, except for on Twitter where I'm Dr. Psych Owl TV. And tonight, I will be playing the one... The only, the lovely tiefling bard using they, them pronouns, Daspira Daz, Stargazer. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, and then over to uh, the Princess Ladybro. Hi, hello. I am Princess Ladybro across the stuff and the things. Um, uh, tonight I am playing. Uh, Orivarin, the tiefling war cleric, who is really, really good at uh, figuring out where to go uh, when it comes to traveling. She's doing great. All right. And then finally, Dors. Hello, everybody. I'm Dors, or Dorsius across most things. Uh, tonight, I am playing Kichiro the monk who throws hands and teaches you where to catch them and i'll be doing my best to never lie because he would never do that to any of you all right and two more announcements before we get going we are sponsored of course by the wonderful uh dungeons gate which is a local midwestern gaming store that i click the thing for and they sell a selection of ttrpgs card games uh visual novels other novels, comic books, minis, and other uh, gaming accessories. If you go to their web, well, you can type exclamation point Dungeons Gate uh, to find out more about them. And on their website, if you buy something and use the checkout code GUTPUNCHRP, you get 10% off items that are not already on sale. And then, of course, we are a charity stream over here, and we are uh, supporting the Transgender Law Center, uh, which changes law, policy, and attitude so that all people can live safely and authentically and free from discri discrimination, regardless of their gender, identity, or expression. And you can find out more about them by typing exclamation point charity in the chat. And then you can uh, donate to enter to win a lot of cool prizes by clicking exclamation point donate is that right okay uh like you can win this awesome little die made by our friend amherst dice slash no fame podcast slash the justin uh you can also win cool minis i'm not gonna hold them all up but here's some of them very shiny Ooh, can't see them at all uh but they are all uh wild beyond the witch light minis which is kind of what we're playing but we're already way off uh all right though i think that's it all right, we will jump right in then to previously on Lost in the Wild. The party has made it to the Feywild and spent the night in a town full of Haragon. The rabbit folk gave the party information that split the road before them, and they chose to go to the giant fallen tree where a group of people called the Lost Ones live. 
They made uh, most of the journey without incident until they came nearly to the tree. Uh, across an open meadow with wind blowing, uh, they begin to trek until they are noticed by a little girl who's flying a particularly ugly kite. Uh, she comes running towards them, the short goblin girl in a sort of like plain dress. Uh, just, and you see little tracks of tears down her face, and she is very, very upset. And as she gets closer to you, uh, you hear her begin to call out. Uh, my arms are so very sore, I don't want to fly this kite anymore. But if I let go of this, if I let go of this string, Creeping Lynn says I'll become an old thing. The curse comes from those five blue bows. Uh, but they won't come off while the wind blows. And she's like a little bit hysterical. And you look up at the kite and between her and this uh, kite, there are blue bows tied to the string uh, about, uh, what is it, 10 feet apart? Starting 10 feet from her. So the kite's fairly high up. The kite itself is a hideous face that looks sort of like a Necronomicon, just the classic. Uh, and it is uh, kind of smiling at you in a very leering way as it begins to whip itself back and forth a little bit harder in this wind. Not me perusing my spell list real quick. <laughs> That's what I was doing too. Um, how high up is the low, the bow that's closest to the ground? About 10 feet up. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. I would love to just go ahead and try a mage hand, see if I can untie it. Okay, uh, roll me an attack roll? Magic? Magic sure. roll? Sure. It's a 16 on the die. All right, uh, I'm trying to like re-speed read stuff. I always read it right beforehand, and then I instantly forget like everything about it. Mm -hmm, <laughs> if mm -hmm. we're going for like my spell attack, then that makes it a total of 22. All right, uh, the mage hand is able to sort of grab on to the bow. Uh, mm -hmm. The wind sort of seems to abate for a minute as uh, this little goblin girl just kind of like takes in a hopeful breath. Uh, but you see as the mage hand tries to pull away, it's not able to pull the bow off. Mm. Okay. And then as that sort of begins to fail, uh, the wind begins to pick back up again and the uh, kite lets out like a weird little kite laugh. Ew. I hate that. <laughs> All right, I don't like that. Yeah, yeah that's, that, that's, that, that's, that's downright upsetting. Okay. Um, <laughs> dear. Um... I, well, I mean, should I... Could I try pulling it down? Do you think that's a good idea? Uh, it's worth a shot. Well, I mean, if you take the string, then won't then you be cursed? No, no it, I it couldn't was, get cursed twice, right? I mean, I kind of grabbed it too. I mean, with magic, but well, it was given to me. I can't let go of it. But someone else what? could grab on. Who gave it to you? Yeah, Cre creeping Lynn. Right. Who, who's that? Right. Who is that? Uh, uh, they are, with their free hand, sort of, they point up towards the castle with the uh, dark cloud over it, which you can see from oh, everywhere. Right. Uh, Got it. Okay. Um, well, <laughs> that explains that then. All right. Um, so, why did Creeping Len give you? Well, uh, I lived at the castle. My parents work there. And uh, back when it was Zablina, it was nice. And then uh, the bitter end came in. Another name for Creeping Lynn. Uh, and it got worse. And there was one time I was just sneaking around and I saw something I shouldn't. Oh, what'd you say? What'd you see? It, it was surely just Creeping Lynn doing anything. If she doesn't watch you there, you shouldn't see it. Um, it was more that I was sneaking. I was in. I was hiding in her study. So this and is then, sort of her way of getting back at you. Yeah. Uh, punishment sort of deal. Okay. Right. That seems rather mean. Well, she. What if she's it happens mean? if we if we just blast the cat itself? Uh, she <laughs> looks a little frightened. Uh, as the kite sort of seems to be steering itself back and forth a little bit more strongly. Uh, 
I, if you can... I don't know if it's really alive, but if you can kill it, I think that breaks it. Okay, well... But, you, all right, fine. But if Do you... If you, I believe this little child? <laughs> Thank you for having a brain cell. <laughs> you can go ahead and roll an insight check on this sobbing goblin child. Well, while Cobalt is like lining up her aim, right? Her emotion. <laughs> Little to the left. Uh, yeah, as you calm her emotions, uh, the wind seems to slow down. And the kite gets a little bit closer to the ground as it begins to lazily waft a little bit lower. Uh, 18. This kid is very much not lying to you. They are in distress. Well, I I need a charisma saving throw for my calm emotion. Let's see if it works. Um, I have a suggestion and maybe it might be uh, something I don't really know what I'm talking about. Uh, but I've seen magic around the circus, and sometimes people manipulate wind. Can any of you do that? No. no. E- not really. Great, then never mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, th- I thought about that too. I'd heard about, I've, yeah, I've heard about that kind of magic. That's more kind of, I'd, I, I'm not much for like the nature kind of stuff more like <laughs> destructive kind of thanks i hit things a lot so right um, more on the assisting side of things um. on turning a situation to our advantage <laughs> so we're just gonna go for it right i mean but so a uh, so question for the DM, but the, yes. the the motion of the kite started to kind of calm down as the child calmed down. Yep. Okay, and we all kind of clocked that. Uh, it was like it was like a visible change with the kite, at least. Uh, yeah. If Ori would have, if I feel like Ori would have announced that there. Yeah, she would have like knelt down and like put her hand on her shoulders and been like, "It's going to be all right. We're going to do what we can to help you." Okay, and then. Cast calm emotions. Yeah, and the goblin sort of her breathing eases a little bit, and you just kind of notice that she is less upset. The wind really does seem to be maybe responding a little bit to that. Hmm. Interesting. Have we caught this child's name yet? Have we asked her that yet? <laughs> no. What's your name, kiddo? <laughs> Fina? All right, Fina. Well, it looks like it's already starting to calm down a little bit, so that's good. I'm gonna look to Ori for help, like in a panic. Like, what do we do next? What do I um, say? I don't know. <laughs> well, uh, is there anything you could tell us about the kite itself? Did you hear what exactly the curse was? In 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 the sense of. I know if you let go, you'll get old, but isn't there, there's usually like a loophole for these things, right? At least there were in all the children's books I used to read. Uh, and she's like, and she's now kind of just like sitting there in like that very like tired, like little kid, like shoulders down, like I would love a nap sort of way. Uh, and she goes, uh, well, well, I don't know, but I don't think the kite's supposed to fall. And she is like, looking past you at the kite, which is getting very close to the ground. So, could I just reach up and pull it down? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna pull it down and if it lets me, then just stomp on it. <laughs> I'll kind of, like, shift to stand so that I'm sort of blocking this from the kid's view so she doesn't freak out more. Uh, as I'm, I'm gonna say, as you start to reach for this, uh, there is a little, like, hike in the wind as you, uh, see, like, the little goblin girl, everyone else who is still around her. Uh, Fina sort of sits up and she goes, but if it touches the ground, I'll age. I mean, technically we all age. 
Okay. Yeah, everybody ages. But, it's, no, it's, 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 it's a but the, normal part of life. But it's part of the poem. It's ten years for every bow. Oh. You repeat the poem. So we have oh. to stop. Stop the bow. Get rid of the bows. Uh, she, she sort of like sighs heavily. I don't want to fly this kite anymore, but if I let go of the string, Creeping Lynn says I'll become an old thing. And as she's beginning to repeat this poem, the uh, wind sort of starts to pick up a little bit. The curse that comes from those five blue bows, but they won't come off while the wind blows. Right. Hmm. So, a possible loophole in the poem is if you let the kite drop, what if we let the kite drop? She looks yeah, very just... puzzled about this. She's like, but I well, can't let go. Well, if exactly, you still hold on, but if we were to do something to it, <laughs> just like little, like feeble child noise. Yeah, like we could, we can catch it. You, you keep holding on to the little string or whatever. We catch it as it comes down, and then we take off the uh, the bows, right? Do you know any fun games you and I can play while they do all the scary stuff? How high up is the or is the first bow? Uh, it's ten feet off, but now the kite, now that she's getting calm again, is getting closer to only being like six feet off the ground. So you know, Pythagorean okay. theorem or whatever. It's none of They're them are very close. high off the ground. Okay. I am going to walk over to Kichiro and, um, well, I for one believe in you and, like, clasp you on the shoulder and, like, you know, like, sports butt, like, butt smack <laughs> of, of, like, go get them. And uh, I'll cast Enhance Ability. And uh, oh, no. I will give you Cat's Grace. I'm so you have advantage on dexterity checks and you don't take any fall damage from 20 feet. Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay. I think I know where this is going. <laughs> Go get it. <laughs> so I just, uh, and you'll see him, Kichiro, they'll, they'll just like, Kind of like look back and just 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 go get it. Are you sure? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just distracting her, just like talking to her. <clears throat> yeah, and as you're um, calming her, the kite kind of keeps floating closer and closer to the ground. Um, I feel like Kichiro. They, I feel like they'd be concerned that the kite's gonna hit first more than the bow. So we're gonna try to jump up and catch the kite. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> if possible. <laughs> All right. Uh, go ahead and do a dexterity. Uh, uh, what do you have? The acrobatics. Give me an acrobatics. Mm, acrobatics. Check. Okay. Okay. So the D &Ds. We can do this. We cannot do this. You have advantage. <laughs> that was. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, thank nice. goodness. Yeah. <clears throat> Oof, I needed hour. that because that was close. <laughs> cool. That's 15. <laughs> Uh, 15. All right. Uh, so as you jump up and reach uh, up t to the kite, you grab it. And it for just like half a second seems like it's going to uh, fight you out of the air. Uh, but between the distraction, the advantage, uh, everyone like working together, the kite just sort of like pulls up for half a second and then falls with you to the earth uh, as it kind of makes like a piteous little like huffing sound. <laughs> I'll, I'll look, I'll like look at it. And it, that's enough out of you. You're causing her problems. And then I like, try to like, like shut it. So it's like the face is like looking at itself. <laughs> <laughs> what are the rest of you doing uh, now that he has a kite in hands? Try to take off the bows again now that the kite is still. All right. Uh, yeah, you can get uh, three of the bows off. And it's like rounds, but you know. All uh, right, yeah. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to have Kichiro. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Am I about to get my fingers bit by a kite? I mean, no. Uh, are you trying, when you're folding this kite in half, are you trying to break the kite? No, I was just, I was just 
closing. I wasn't trying to like snap it or anything. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, uh, you guys are able to, between the holding of the kite, the calming of the child, get all of the bows off. And uh, the string that they are on sort of begins to disintegrate in the child's hand and goes up through the string to the kite. And the kite sort of uh, freezes and turns to that like dusty mummy stuff and just fades away. Oh. Uh, and the, the little goblin girl, uh, Fina, jumps up and just wraps her arms around your neck, Ori, and goes, Ah, oh, you all did it! Thank you! Thank you! I'm not going back to the castle, though. That's terrible. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you're welcome. Um, yeah, I wouldn't until, um, Creeping Lin is gone. Uh, but we're on our way to a town that is populated by children, is that correct? Oh, it's around at the others. Like, right? That's, that's where we're going. <laughs> You're going to town of children. The the blue merch, the tree. Yeah, that's yeah. well. That's where she said she was gonna send me to live with the other children, and then she's the kite. Ah, but no, I I kind of remember how to get there from last time we visited, and then she starts kind of walking off through the grass at like an angle. Okay, you gotta follow the kid. Oh. Yeah, the yeah sure. Yeah. <laughs> As you are following her, you notice she's kind of taking a weird angle from the path that you guys are like, that path leads to the tree though, right? And she's just like, Soop. I have learned not to question people who know directions. <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> I'll follow this kid, why not? Yeah. I certainly think I know where I'm going, but everyone else is just like, nope. Solid, all right. Uh, so she uh, will lead you for... It's about like a 15 minute walk and she has very short legs. So you guys are kind of on a stroll right now. Uh, and you're coming to kind of like what would be the roots of this tree that has been ripped up. And as you come around this flared base on the outside, uh, you notice there are gardens and there are like chickens and there is sort of a big uh, hollow in the tree that seems to be being used as like something like a little outdoor market. Uh, and then behind that, as the tree begins to narrow, there's a big solid piece of wood uh, with sort of doors that open in and out in it. And uh, this is, uh, as uh, Fida informs you, turning around and throwing out her very short little arms, this is Loom Lurch. Loom Lurch. This seems pretty nice. Oh, very, yeah. Very lovely. It is. It's, uh, it's been here forever and ever. It really actually did used to be Creeping Lens, but that was, I think, uh, she's been clawing her way up. And... and see what she did there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, well, uh, that's fine. I'm... well... Hmm. And she kind of like starts to just like look around like someone's just gonna like pop out and be in charge. She clearly did not have a step beyond this. Do you know anyone from here? Um, no, I'm like 10 and last time we came here, I was like seven, so. I'm just Got it. That's all right. <laughs> but but I, I have like a cousin here, so I'm gonna I mean, do you, do you, you want guys... to look in or? I don't. And she's like, <laughs> she's looking around. Like, she would follow you if you're like, will help, but she will also like dart off and just start like going through this tree. Right. <clears throat> Is it like tall enough for someone? Good question. Do our tall taller people oh, with no. us fit? <laughs> This tree's open base has like a forty foot, okay, top to bottom. So it's a okay. huge tree. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, not got it. Size. No, good. Okay. Uh, well, well, if you need any assistance, I'm happy to help. Well, maybe I'll follow for a bit and just keep an eye out. Okay, I'm just gonna walk into the tree. <laughs> Hello. Yeah. For right, uh, immediately right behind Ori. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. As you are walking, like towards this tree, saying hello, it is just like I'm looking for a will. Is there a will here? I heard there's a will. There's a way. 
heads kind of turn, and it's... Like, for this being a town of children, like, yes, there is a, a lot of kids. Like, more kids per capita than there should be. Uh, but there are quite a few adults. Uh, you notice, like, a few of the shopkeepers are, like, uh, dwarves, and then there are also, like, some uh, goblins running around. Uh, you see a couple of her Haragon Herringons, sorry. Uh, but mostly it's kids. And the kids all sort of like narrow their eyes at you as you adults are coming through and asking for Will. And you see a few of them sort of skitter off in various, to various little holes. I'm just gonna follow them with my eyes, the ones that skitter off. We were, uh, uh, Elio friend. will do the same. <laughs> They definitely make their way inside through the doors. Daz will hmm. pull out a deck of cards and we'll start doing like um, elaborate shuffles and like stuff that you could not do. Just like there is some natural skill there, but there's also some like added magic that makes the, the shuffle go extremely large and like doing rainbow pa like patterns with it and whatnot. Just, uh... Instantly distracted. <laughs> <laughs> you hear kind of like an appreciative like light clapping from a booth behind you where there's just kind of like two dwarves who look exactly the same like sitting on a like the counter of their probably their establishment. You don't know. But do you really think he's going to come out if you just keep shouting the name? That, yeah, that may not be the go way to go about this. What exactly are we aiming to find here again? No, it's not ready. <laughs> I went through, says, says also Natalie, the player who went through her notes and is it found that I did not write down as much as I thought I did. <laughs> well, I was pretty drunk last night, so... <laughs> That's fair. Real helpful, Elio. We're coming here for information on how to get to the mine. No, lost things. Lost. Well, how to find things that have been lost and people? Are we looking well, here have for? All been lost. It seems so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, they're all lost, and we lost pointing at Cobalt and Hori. Like, what? I think it was to get to the mines, yeah. So, <sighs> the faster route to get to the castle, um, which is where our lost things are probably hidden. Yeah, the lost away. things, at least, yeah, well, that's likely in the take castle. take very good notes last time. I was too, too distracted <laughs> by the very cute bunny people. I know, this is wow. the problem. That's, <laughs> that's valid. That's valid. Yeah. Uh, all right. We figured we would come oh, here for Is this where the lost children are? Mm -hmm. well, this yeah, this is where the lost So maybe yeah. Star is here. Thank you, Amber. There we go. <laughs> yeah. It's like, score one for the chat. Yeah. <laughs> We're looking for Thanks, chat small chat. I will beeline to the dwarves who applauded me. <laughs> like, hello! Uh, we're not from around here. <laughs> Say that again? Yeah, uh, looking for a will? <laughs> will of the Feywild, the, the kid. I mean, yeah, some like some some rabbit folk kind of pointed us ah. here. Ah, uh, yeah. We, we I mean, you're counted a goblin with a kite. That one's new to us, and they sort of like look at each other, and they're very much doing like the tropey twin thing of like talking at the same time and finishing each other's sentences. Oh, apologies. Uh, Name's Daz at your service. Oh, at our so Oh, ho, ho. Uh, I'm Baron. And he like nods, and the brother goes, and I'm Baron. So, Baron, 
Baron. Baron. Yeah, like bear. And then he points at his bottom. Oh, oh. <laughs> I mean, that's... I'm well, not, I, I'm not, I didn't not pick it out. It, but, well, you know. that, I mean, it, I guess it could be a proposition. His brother's just like chortling into like a cup. Uh, well, uh, uh, can we? Can we help? Yeah, <laughs> will looking for a will. Oh uh, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, will is. Uh, I mean, he's probably somewhere inside. We don't. We're not his keepers. Well, I wasn't implying that you were. I was just wanting some, maybe some direction. Oh, I mean, you. Why do you want information? We need to get to that castle? Oh, you- oh, oh, okay. It's- you know, there's just- we don't get a lot of weird adults coming in here, uh, asking for information do or you get wills. normal ado adults, then? Well... Yeah. Well, the adults we know who are normal adults for here, but we don't know you. Well, okay, so if you just go into the tree, uh, there's gonna be a big circle about, like, 50 yards in. Uh, someone there will probably point you in the right direction. There's, it's a, it's a tree, it's enclosed, it's big though. Okay. As somebody who's new here, is there it, any customs that I should be aware of? I don't I think want you're to... breaking like several already. <laughs> it's Oh, I was just gonna oh sorry. I yeah, think they're doing great. <laughs> yeah. Look, no, pretty flowers over here. <laughs> just kind of... Well, I think those ones might be poisonous. Your friend's about to touch those. Oh, Ori, Ori, hold on. It hold happens. On. Oh, um. It um, <laughs> well, n not, not really. I mean, it's... Uh, a, they both sort of, like, lean in at the same time and go, It's a tree run by kids. It's fine. What's your story? Oh, I mean, we're from a uh, set of mines over that way. Um... It's not a lot of dwarves here, but you know, some dwarves. Uh, uh, but it became inhospitable, shall we say. Those mines lead to the castle, don't they? Uh, well, the Brigginock mines do. Ours are just, like, next door-ish. But that is the rumor that their mines do lead to the castle, and that's probably what got our mines... Uh, Are you saying they undermined you? <laughs> they just kind of glare at you for a second. <laughs> no, it wasn't the Briganox. It was uh, one of the... What the hell do they call them? Legion of Doom? The D League, League of Malevolence. Uh, one talks over the other. Uh, yeah, That's also dramatic. It They... Mm -hmm. But they do live up to it, or they really try. But this... We saw one of them, uh, the War Duke, so you can understand why we are no longer there. One hell of a title. Okay. Yeah. It's, uh, but Scary Dude uh, hits people with the weapon and... Lovely. Oh. What kind of weapon? So we don't want to meet them. Got it. Got it. Uh, well, it's just like a sword or whatever, but he's very... He's real big, and we're not real big, so I'll... Side of caution. Mm -hmm. Good to know. How big, real big? And just kind of like points to Veritas, who's just quiet in the background. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, well, he's got like a helmet. So, with the helmet, maybe that big? We're also okay. real small, so it's like after a point, so I'll just. I'll yeah. It's all relative, yeah. Yeah. Well, we have the numbers. We'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. sure. Thanks sure. mm -hmm. uh, for my heads up, though. Do appreciate that. <laughs> well, shall we? Kind of uh, just 
nods towards the tree. Elio looks like really unimpressed, like arms crossed. We're really just gonna go in there. An enclosed tree where they told us to go to a circle and meet with a... I don't know. What can it hurt? Let's, why not? Sure. Thanks for the enthusiasm, Elle. All yeah. right, let's go. Well, 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 I mean, I, this didn't really come up, but I might know Will. What? Huh? You know Will? I mean, I and it might not be the same Will. I, but it could be. I I used to know Will. We did the thing that we weren't supposed to do that made me not able to do the thing. Was that thing. one of your friends who you... Yeah. Oh. I don't know oh. if it's... I haven't seen them in a very long time. I don't... Well, let's I, go find out then. Come on. Well, I don't... We I don't know. Well, it's so loud. Well, we I mean, I, 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 one way to we, find out. I mean, is, he might not even recognize me. I'm not a little kid. Not anymore. So? I can't imagine you look too much different than what you used to. Just, you know, taller. And you would recognize yeah. him, wouldn't you? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Then let's go. You say this, but if we get chased around by a whole pack of kids. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> and if that starts to happen, then I have a feeling we'll all be out, so. Fair point. Hmm. All right. Was well, well, nice. I mean, yeah. I mean, we got into trouble together. I mean, he didn't hurt me. That's what you mean. Well, I mean, he's now leading an entire town of children in a tree. Oh. So I'm just oh. kind of wondering what type of person he is. <laughs> okay, I didn't. Yeah. You know, we didn't like leave the whole pack of children around trees. If that's what you're asking, no, that's a new thing. Even for me. <laughs> Was it his idea to go to the carnival when you were kids? Not entirely. Ah. Hmm. All right, come on. And I'm just going to grab <laughs> Kichiro's arm and just like, drag him inside. We're gone. Like, full, full speed ahead. They'll just right. stumble behind being dragged forward. And it's like the it's the middle of the day, pretty much. The doors are open. Uh... People seem very relaxed about everything. Uh, the kids that kind of scampered off, there's still a few watching you from, like, the sidelines. Uh, but you come into this tree, and, like I said, entrance is once you walk through this huge double set of doors. Uh, still about 40 feet tall, right, when you walk in. Uh, there are, like, two stories, and it seems kind of built almost like... Uh, like you are in the courtyard of a hotel or something, and these are the things surrounding it. Uh, but as you continue to walk, uh, you come to a giant uh, circular sort of uh, amphitheater. I, not an amphitheater. It's a, it's a circle. Uh, but uh, it is kind of clear of stuff. It seems to be like it would be a meeting place. Uh, there are small halls that seem to kind of branch off and go underground, maybe. Uh, they seem to kind of fade off into darkness. And then there's a continuation and you can go through the tree. The setup looks kind of the same, but it looks like there is a lot of it. Like this is the foyer. Uh, and word clearly gets around in this tree because there are people sort of on the upper level of this atrium, sort of like looking down. Uh, <laughs> A couple of them wave at you. There's like a few like kids looking like through the uh, bars that are down there, and a few of them are like mildly excited about what's going on. Uh, Hair but as you come, and a, like, <laughs> a sparkling smile. <laughs> uh, a couple of uh, like probably half elf girls uh, were maybe about like fourteen. Giggle like they just saw you know a, a beetle go by. B e a t, <laughs> not the bug. Uh, <laughs> but also, yeah. And so you are sort of being observed and kind of coming from the other way in like a matching pace it very much feels like timed and a little bit like uh a little bit of a 
display of power, tree power, uh, comes a boy uh, with big hair that's sort of like half in uh, dreads and then like a little bit like sort of frizzy and poofy in places. Uh, and he's wearing sort of a mix of clothing that's pants that are a little bit too short and like leather vest and uh, he has like kind of a smirk on his face uh, and very sharp eyes and just the tiniest wisp of a mustache. Uh, and Kichiro, you, even from this distance, immediately recognize him, and he looks unchanged, pretty much, from uh, the years and years ago when you all went through the carnival hmm. together, unticketed. Uh, that's definitely him. Uh, oh. All right well, then. Okay. Well, say hi, right? That's your introduce yeah, us. Yeah. yeah uh, cool. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's do that. Oh, really so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're about like twenty yards out and closing, and kind of flanking. Yeah. Uh, Will there are uh, two women? Uh, one has like very like roguish clothing on, sort of dark leathers, and the other one uh, kind of is uh, just the picture of a cleric. Uh, they have a staff. Uh, just very kind face and sort of are giving you all like a concerned look. Uh, Will, as everyone is continuing to get closer to each other, sort of freezes in shock as he is looking over everyone and sees Gichiro. Uh, cause even though you've grown quite a bit, uh, you're s still his friend from childhood. But he is gobsmacked. <laughs> and freezes as these two women take a few steps past him. And the one who looks like a cleric sort of like pauses and like looks back at him. Uh, but the other one continues to walk forward. Uh, I will like just like kind of raise a hand to like, hey, Will, uh, good to see you again. Uh, Kichiro? Yeah, it's... It's me, buddy. He's still very, uh, flummoxed at the situation what he's seen in front of him. Uh, so this, uh, tall, roguish woman sort of, uh, pauses and goes, uh, how do you know, Will? State your business. Uh, I'm his old friend. Uh, and these are my current new friends? Uh, this is... Ori and Cobalt and Daz and the one that looks a little grumpy is uh, Elio <laughs> and then there's uh, Veritas the the really big one back here she sort of looks you over arms crossed eyes narrowed a little bit uh, and our business what is our oh, like, I'll look, look back like we're just trying to get to the castle right just, and just to the castle. Our friend, we're looking for Star. Oh, and we're looking for, we're look trying to get to that really funky castle, and we're looking for a baby displacer beast named Star. Have you seen them? And it has wings. It has wings. Can't forget that part. Uh, and at that, so Will sort of snaps out of his uh, shock and goes, "Well, we took the wings off, and they got kind of torn up." Hey, what you did? What? Uh huh? Well, they're Hold not. On. They're not real. not real. Oh. What? Oof. You thought oh, that this yeah. <laughs> beast had butterfly wings? I just, you know, it's a fancy. We've had some strange things happen, okay? Carnival. I just, you know, thought. It's all right. I know something that. It, it, it's all right. So you're here. But they're to here? Rest. Y y well, yeah, she was. She came through with the little ghoul, but then we sort of intercepted the the pig mask. Oh, one of those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah what's up with that? that. <laughs> they oh, won't say won't, words. They, they won't talk about that. All right. Uh, why do you imply <laughs> something that is kidnapping people from your carnival? Oh, we don't. We don't. No. Not oh. 
Oh, well, I can't just have that didn't happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you if you talked about it, then it wouldn't happen. Communication is <laughs> really important. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh my god. We're just having uh, a slight melt. <laughs> we'll bring it up at the next team meeting. <laughs> <laughs> if you get hired back again, yeah. Mm-hmm. Ooh, oh, right. Uh, ooh, <laughs> that might be our fault. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that one. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Well, well, the ghoul belongs to Edelin Moongrave, the hag. <gasps> And, but, and you yeah. all just mm-hmm. let her wander about your carnival. It's you're in, you keep yeah. using that word "let" like we have any control over that. You also keep using the word "we." <laughs> Clearly, I, it's Elio's fault. <laughs> I should have known. Uh, and at this point, Will and uh, the cleric sort of take a few steps forward. Uh, the well, are you? Do you need to find the ghoul, or is that separate? And, uh, no. Well, I mean, she took things from us. But yeah, and I'd be. She's it's... on the list of things we have to do. Oh, if the ghoul took another something lost. and it's yeah. not here, it's gonna be at the castle. Yes. So that brings us back to point number one: get into that castle. And, and it, it start. We wanted to return her home to her mother. Oh, well. I mean, you're gonna take. No, we just want you to know that that we're gonna take her when we leave. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not a now thing. Oh, okay. I mean, I guess that's a better idea than taking a kitten to the castle. Yeah, no. But we would never, right? Right. Right. Okay. You have no problem with us taking her after the castle, though. Um, <clears throat> at this, like, Will is kind of giving you, like, this look of just, like, calculating something in his head. And the two adults sort of exchange a look and go, so you all have a way home then. We're hoping well, that after we, because we we also had a, a mission to go and find Queen Sablina and talk to her. So we're hoping that if we talk, get a chance to talk to her, that she'll be able to get us home. Though, in all fair and honesty, we actually haven't thought that far ahead. It's a bit up in the air at this point. It's in progress, like our old plans. Do you have a suggestion? Well, I mean, if we had a suggestion, I feel like maybe we would have taken care of it ourselves, uh, says the cleric, like, in a, not a haughty way, but like... Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know how you decide to live. Maybe you decided to stay here, and it wasn't... Ma- ma- I don't know. Oh, yes. They said you weren't from around here. We are... From Valor's Call. We used to work for Zablina. We have been trying to find a way to free her. <clears throat> but right. now we are. So Baby you'll help sitting. us. I mean, he's fine. He, right? Right, Will? You're fine, right? Tell them you're fine. Uh, we, y- yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Was it convincing at all? I mean, it's like he's he's fine in the way, like you know, he's like, wait, you guys are just gonna like bounce, but he, these kids are clearly they have set up something in this tree and are doing fine. Okay. Okay. So, uh, what happened to Queen Sabrina? Hmm. We're not entirely sure. Uh, The hag, Edelin, attacked in the night. Uh, She has been creeping closer to the forest in her hideouts as she has gained power. She gains powers from borrowed things like voices or 
senses of humor, just weird stuff. Uh, oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, so I'm guessing you mm -hmm. have met her. Um, is she look... Is she like the pig thing? The pig child girl? Well, tangent... No, she's not the pig child, but you have... Let me rephrase that. You have had a run-in with her. So What say, would make you say that? Uh, <laughs> Some of us have. Yes. <laughs> well, uh... I mean, so have all of these children, so you're not... I guess... Is it rude to ask what... I'm just gonna ask it anyway. Will, what'd you lose? Uh, I didn't lose anything. I got kidnapped. I got lost. Me. The whole person. Oh, you let... That's not... I mean, no, no. I'm not gonna say it's not fair. All I lost was the ability to lie. I should not have said that out loud. Well, <clears throat> that's uh, that's really tragic for you. Super duper sad. And he sort of like just gives you like a very scathing look and in yeah. like the most like sort of uh, a tween way kind of turns and just like walks off over like adjacent and disappears through a doorway. Oh, I messed that up, didn't I? It's, a little bit. Right. I would say so. Yeah. We're just gonna add them to the list of things that we're going to fix. If they want to be fixed. <laughs> uh, that's yeah. Okay. Do you want to go home? I mean, I feel like I should. I haven't seen him in a long time and he's been stuck here as a kid for who knows how long. Go talk to him. Go. Yeah. And why do I say I can't lie to him? Literally. Well, well, well. You start by apologizing for what happened just now. To lie between friends. All right. All right. I'll. I'll try to talk to them. Uh, sure, we can smooth it out. I'm sure they can hopefully convince everybody else to help us. Hopefully, I hope. Get yeah, I got it. I got this. Nothing could go wrong. I got it. I got it. You got this. And like both of the uh, women just kind of turn and watch you go. <laughs> Why does nobody think I got this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and if you go through that door, uh, you see Will and he's sitting on it's like it looks like a sitting room, like a living room, mm -hmm. like where people would hang out. It's got like little, uh, just simple wooden furniture, uh, but there's a particular bench that seems to be carved into the wall of the tree, and it has like soft pillows on it, and Will's sort of sitting cross-legged on that, and has uh, a Displacer Beast kitten in his lap. Oh, you're really, uh, you're really just a pair, aren't you? I mean, there's more than a pair of us. We're all just lost. It's the sulkiest voice. Uh, yeah, uh, you, you're lost, and I'm sure I'm mainly to blame. More than 50%, at least. Uh, no. We, we all made a stupid choice together. A bit of a fun, stupid choice, right? For a little bit? Uh, for, yeah, the first, like, 45 minutes, and then, yeah, like... it was great. So then the pig girl showed up, and then it, now it's... Now I'm... Yeah, yeah, that's a little creepy. No, not gonna lie. Uh, I... Listen. Uh, I, I didn't mean what I said out there. Really. I... Not being able to lie is not as bad as being literally whisked into whatever this is. I mean... Bef before uh, everything got all corrupted, it wasn't so bad except for not being home. But... I'd never... People sometimes get to go home and I just never had a way. Hey. Wait, they could have let you go, but they didn't? 
well, no, not okay. It's a little more complicated than that. See, uh, and he started kind of going off on this like story uh, uh -huh. about uh, Zablina has the ability to send people home, but she could only get them back to their time if they made a wish with the tree and at the carnival. Uh, and he sort of uh, pauses for a moment and goes, Yeah, because it has to do with wish stones, which only the Brigginox have or can make. But if you oh. make a wish there, it ties you to your time. Uh, okay. That's a little confusing, and I might need you to tell that to the, my, my new friends. Yeah, and I might not be the best at explaining it. Uh, I think uh, Mershon can do a better job. And he's sort of like pointing uh, at the door. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, okay. Indicating Got one it. of the adults, probably. <laughs> Got it. Got it. I mean, okay. And I gotta ask, because I'm a little selfish still. Are your new friends as fun as me? <laughs> well, I... Some of them are pretty fun. I mean, we go do st before when you wouldn't get eaten by the Jabberwock. Uh, you, we would go do stuff in the forest. We'd go have oh. uh, little sort of sorties against the hair haragons, but that was all for you fun. Fight that. Okay. Cool. Well, not really fight like them. It. it was more of like a stealing stuff back and forth. It's ah, it's very okay. fey wildy. Okay. Okay. Everyone's kind of a dick, but then they're like a fun dick. <laughs> got it got it so the usual shenanigans okay 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 yeah um while i'm talking to you will um does star look okay they're like oh. just content they're like healthy looking uh yeah it's uh star is sort of like was clearly like taking a nap on this whole entire bench and sort of got moved by will but have sort of the uh when puppies get so tired that they just kind of become like rags Aww. like uh she has like there's string on the floor near her there's like a shredded pillow and now she's just like snoring lightly stretched across will's oh. lap you should have been me <laughs> <laughs> uh well how about this will if I'm pretty sure we don't get to leave here until we, like, you know, find Sabina, fix all of this. I, I, I can, I'm sure I can get you home. Would you want to come home? Uh, he pauses for a second and sort of, like, looks down at Star and is, like, playing with one of uh, their ears and then just, like, sniffles a little and goes, I'll think about it. Oh, yeah, you thinking about it. How long, how long do you want to think about this for? I Well, like, more than, like, 30 seconds. I've been here for a all long right, time. Right, and well, you're right. going gonna to put me back to when we were kids or no? It's the whole thing. Oh, uh, all right, fine. That's fair. I don't know how this whole time thing works either. So we'll. All right. But just. I don't know. What did we do? Did we pinky promise? Did we do secret handshake? Wait, which one was it? I'm. I swear, we'll figure it out. All right. And then he sort of like puts up, just puts up a hand with a pinky and just waits a second. All right. I I swear, I got you. Pinky promise. It's all right. Can't break those. Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> I will lose more than the ability to lie. <laughs> <laughs> By penalty of death. Uh, well... <laughs> I mean, you guys, you guys walked from the rabbit. You guys must be hungry, yeah? Oh, yeah, I'm absolutely starving. So he sort of like I'm rolls sure they are the kitten off his lap and slides <sighs> out from underneath and just kind of uh, just, like looks back for a second. She'll be fine. Uh, this way. Will, will she? Oh, okay. You well, say so. Yeah, I mean, that's, she can't go anywhere. There's only like two exits. Uh, you say this, but it's still a cat. I mean, she can. She's. We gave her a tail bell, and he sort of like points, and you just uh, see on the end of her tail, there's like been a bell tied to it. And every I knew you were the smart one. It's like her tail tries to move, and the bell's slightly too heavy. <laughs> <laughs> All 
Perfect. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so Will leads you out, and uh, we'll pause on that for the outside group, uh, who are standing there in front of these two uh, intimidating women. We're just kind of eyeing you all up and down and, like, shifting back and forth. One with arms crossed, one holding their staff. You s you said you, you weren't, like, really sure what happened to Queen Sublina? Did you see anything that happened to her? We just have two people on the outside who are desperately looking to get in contact with her. Well, there was a siege on the castle. Uh, right. And we've been keeping our eyes on Lynn for, well, always. She's... Uh, her and Zablina are sort of counterbalances to each other in th this part of the Fey Realm, and Zablita had, er, Lynn had been, uh, drawing power to her from across the plains. And Zablina was convinced it would be fine. Lynn wouldn't break the accord, this, that, honor, something. But here we are, and we were just overwhelmed in the fight and chased from the castle. And uh, the sort of like roguish one who has her arms uh, crossed sort of like scoffs, like just in disgust about them getting chased from this castle. Are there more of you? Like... Uh, yes, there's a few more of us, uh, scattered to the winds a little bit, but we are five, usually. Be nice to have those with intimate knowledge of the castle help us make it, right? Uh, once again, they exchange a look and sort of, like, raise an eyebrow. And this time, uh, the roguish one speaks again and goes, You've done nothing that makes us want to help you out. You're just going to walk up to the castle and make a difference where none of us could? We did defeat a kite. Uh, a kite? Yeah, apparently it cursed, or there was a curse put on it, that if the little girl let go, she'd get very old, and we defeated it. So... You know, we, we've already got one up on Lynn. What can oh. we do to prove ourselves to you? That we mean business. That we are gonna do everything that we can to get this taken care of. Hmm. There are... And at this, like, cleric, cleric sort of gets, like, that far off, like, look on their face of uh, someone, like, very smart trying to sort of piece together, like, next steps. Uh, there are many things that people could do to help. Perhaps if we work in coordination, we would be able to... Just as uh, Evelyn mo oh, <laughs> overran us with numbers, overrun her with numbers, coming in from different angles. Like the sound of that? Mm -hmm. I'm going to be right back. And this woman just like w storms off in like a direction. Uh, and Bye. Or you offended uh, her. Wow. What did I do? I'm so sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. And meanwhile, and, and like we'll slide up next to the roguish one and be like, so what's your deal? What's my deal? I mean, kind of like looks at her outfit and then like looks at Elio's outfit, which I'm assuming is <laughs> fairly similar in just the all black leather kind of get up. They're, yeah, they're, I mean, they, they both got tight pants on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh,. I... Why are you looking at him? I mean... I mean... Would it 
why why what? wouldn't yeah. mm -hmm. I? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. I mean, look at him. Yeah, well, y yes, he's very good looking. I don't know what that has to do with. Well, you two are also very good looking. What is your deal? So you want us to bang? Like, I don't know why you're well, here I bothering mean, me. Like, it could be a party if. I. So you I were just. Didn't uh, you, my dear. I just I threw it out I there. It, it had to be somewhere in here for to just uh mm. I don't know that I like you. I can work with that. <laughs> oh god. Uh, <laughs> and at this point, you are rejoined by Will and Kichiro. <laughs> and Will just goes, we're Where'd Marshawn go? She was gonna explain time. Lori upset her. It I, was she got turned off. I don't. It's, it's, I'm so sorry. She's gonna like, go over to uh, Marshawn. Is that? They're they're gone. They went like down a hallway and through a door. I'm so sorry. Uh, you're a good liar. <laughs> The the rogue sort of like chuckles at this, and uh, Will goes, uh, "I think they want food." Goes well. Yes, please. It is oh, about that time. I guess let's go get some dinner. And at this point, you do notice that like the entire time you've been in this tree, it has smelled like absolutely delicious, and you've just been very like sort of in your own world, but the second someone mentioned food, you're like, holy shit, yes, I am hungry. This whole place smells delicious. It's it's this way, right? No, it's it's okay. deeper into the oh. tree, and uh, the rogue just sort of turns you, and oh, right. <laughs> Will is leading the way down the hall, sort of just striding with confidence in his uh, little old kid kingdom. Uh, and leads you through another set of double doors into a big mess hall. Uh, it has long tables, uh, there's the fire on one side where there's a couple people cooking. It's a mix of adults and kids over there. Uh, but they seem to have worked out who is responsible for what, and some of the kids seem to have a pretty good knife skills, so that's good for them. Uh, but yeah, there is kind of a buffet set up and Will starts to walk over that way and then kind of goes, come on, Will, it's, uh, you know, you serve yourself, but it's oh. good. It's pretty okay. okay. I, I won't say no. Yeah, and right? it's just like very good, hearty food. Uh, you notice that like the things that you saw in the gardens on the way in are in here. Uh, and it's like stews, there's little like salads, roast vegetables, a little chicken. Uh, so it is just like a delicious spread and uh, they kind of lead you to a table and sit down. And the rogue goes, so y'all are storming the castle. I mean, did we oh, agree right? that we're storming it? Sounds very aggressive. <laughs> yeah, I think right. We're like sneaking in. Oh, less of a I storming like that, kind of approach. That yeah, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. that could. I mean, not that we were out here trying to storm it, but where you? Where do you think you're sneaking in through? Uh, we heard about using the mines to get in. That that was a way in. Could be. Could be. So far, that's kind of the working plan. It's not the worst I mean, plan. You two seem sneaky. And I'll point at the rogue and Will. They're like, I know he's sneaky. That's true. I guess we both have done some sneaking. Um, we have been trying to hold and keep and she sort of like pauses and looks a little bit uncomfortable uh, and then recovers in a quick enough way where like Will doesn't seem to notice. She goes, hey, Will, why don't you go? She just like points at something and then like winks at him and he clearly is like, I get it. I'm supposed to leave. Uh, and he kind of like gets up and goes and like will. <laughs> grabs stuff. I'll be I'll just I'll be back going to get like a flag in. But um, 
he sort of wanders off to where the buffet is and is talking to someone else and just like hanging out being like little dude in charge uh and the rogue sort of leans in and goes it's i they're kids and i know that some of them have been here for a hundred years but we kind of are trying to keep them safe because they also still make very dumb kid decisions like yeah walking up to the front of the castle to try and storm it yeah okay so that's that's one of my plans gone it might be a little different if you had an army but you know yeah 50 12 year olds doesn't really make an army no not really no it's close the amount it of is, anger in, the, in 50 it, 12 year olds like. it's more of like a horde though they're kind of uh it's, if not, they get on you it's bad uh, yeah. but otherwise no uh but we're trying to pinpoint more ways in uh, a lot of them have closed since evelyn was able to get in because right. now she knows but i think there are a few that maybe we can still utilize okay uh what are you thinking then in terms of how we go about this the mines probably aren't the worst idea there's there's going across the swamps kind of uh where there's i'd call it a sewer but it's like if a sewer had intent to murder you like a bog of eternal stench it does smell really bad but that's not what we call it no are there people that live in that place that would help us that would help you no probably not i uh, i mean at best uh most of them are obstinate and at worst i think huh. some of them would probably eat you it's a wide oh. mix of denizens in the oh i mean right. you've had the joy of experiencing how charming does is yes <laughs> absolutely um worse than that shit all right okay so I really am quite charming. Mm. I guess we'll see. He's the second best part. They're the second best part on on the other side. So oh, the, the number one part here. Well, I mean, maybe if you <clears throat> put on a show, something kid friendly. And you shall receive. Oh, is that no. even oh, no. right, I mean, all right, all right. Oh, goody, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you getting up to put out oh, a show? Yeah, no, are you? No, like, yeah, I full on, like, as soon as that, I stand up and, like, kind of almost reverse Riker over, like, kicking my, like, fanning my leg out over the back of the chair and then getting over it and uh, slinging my guitar from around my back out in front and then just immediately strike a chord. And you strike this chord uh, and it rings out through this high vaulted ceiling of this uh, half of a tree sized cafeteria and everyone just sort of turns their head to you and uh it's a mix of like a little bit confused faces but then the people who are closer who can see it's a person with a guitar and they're doing something all of their like eyes sort of light up and you begin to play a little entertainment with dinner as Will makes his way back and across the room you see uh Marchand the cleric beginning to come back as well and that is where we'll take our break Ooh. Ooh. all right uh so that is where we are going to pop for the moment uh just at the uh concert that daz is putting on uh <laughs> and we will be back in just a few moments if you are on twitch if you are on ye old youtube we'll be back in a few days that's how it works uh but yeah 
Thank you for uh, stopping by. Thank you for sticking around through the break. And we'll see you in a few minutes.